nobody but they mama is mad at she from the belly of the beast. I spray bay leaf and roll with the spirits of all the deceased. Gods of the earth and I stay well versed. Ha, just like the Torah, cause I was here first. Ha, in the beginning, before you started sinning, I was just either with all these women. Known as the she clan, you don't overstand. We was all here before God made man. Who am I? Blow these haters a kiss from the old Memphis Who am I? Well, I'm all that you not Cause I flow like snot and I roll with Lamont Who am I? The one you want to get lost Persecute me on the cross for being a boss Who am I? The one you don't give credit For all of his work, yeah, you heard when I said it Who am I? The magical question First I'm a father and then I'm a husband Then I make music that you'll be loving And everything else is not open for discussion Other than I be doing deals with the Russians And the Chinese and world governments The Jews and the Hebrews all of the covenant Carry these rhymes like stone clay tablets Written by God called ancient magic So screw your f- and underground haters Y'all just mad cause I got stat flavor Just like Skittles More balls than a crystal I'm bad to the bone and I mean that Literal, I drink breast milk And my alphabet cereal The principles that affirm my divinity Should be in the Bible Following the Trinity Who am I? The great son of a legend Of whom I had to bury May your soul be in heaven Who am I? The one that's been through it all You don't know nothing about me Man, I thought I told In the ring when I show up on the scene Who am I? The one you cowards try to copy And you know you cannot stop me So you want the flesh to knock me now Who am I? Yeah, you got to be a spirit You got to be a spirit You should know it when you hear it Who am I? You got to be a spirit You got to be a spirit You should know it when you hear it Who am I? Yeah, you got to be a spirit You got to be a spirit You should know it when you hear it Who am I? Yeah, you got to be a spirit We don't need no more ghosts We need a song you got to sing. You can't be no ghost, but you got to be a spirit. You got to be a spirit. And the spirit will not descend without song. We need a spirit. Not a ghost. Listener sponsored and supported community radio. question is who am I and I asked the question who is he <laughs> and I, this is one of those questions I love to ask it's one of those trick questions if you will to make sure we understand the power of that which is existing before us and that we have access to that sometimes we look at that which is not here and we try to find that which is no longer accessible to try to get our answers or our ancestors uh, to be uh, provided or presented to us so we can feel better about you know what we're doing in our present state because we don't see ourselves in the equation we don't see ourselves as being the return of or that which we've been waiting for we are the ones and of course brother king s nab shaquan l ray that is uh from the music uh, that is uh ie that is indigenous entertainment setting the example Son of a legend of whom I had to bury May your soul be in heaven Who am I? The one that's been through it all You don't know nothing about me Man, I thought I told y'all Who am I? Um, Mama Sandra said uh, the Is that the, the same? That's the same <laughs> I said, that's him. She said, wow, it's a whole different energy. So, she said, she talked about the fact that people don't know what it takes, you know, to be uh, somewhat versatile like that and uh, be able to take the energy and to transpose it and also to shape a shift, if you will, and uh, become that which is necessary for the distillation, distillation or the elucidation of information, you know. Right, Mama? So true, so true. So <laughs> people should appreciate mm-hmm. and again pledge for the station. You know, it's something that you have to feel inside, really feel it. And when your soul begins to wake up, you want to make sure that some things keep going on. Mm-hmm. So put that energy forward. Yeah, and um, 
that's something that again we talk off mic you know i always say you know i like to say that you know that if we had an off off mic you know off you know we can get some <laughs> valuable discussions that happen mm-hmm. off mic to talk about you know the value and that um the importance of uh really truly becoming more uh, responsible for that which we know is important to us right jerry most well, certainly is that i, I know it, it really behooves me that you have this station this wrfg here working for you it's really about you it's not about anybody else here it's about you we're giving you things that you as a community are looking for like your brother said you, there's no place else you can go to get the same type of stuff where else can you go you can't tune into the other radio stations so-called black radio stations that are controlled by the mass media and they, they just pump out what they want you to know and mm-hmm. it's all part of their programming to get you to listen and they promise you this and they promise you that here is not like that. Here you get solid foundation. You get fact. You get truth, and you get it. And it's told like it is. Like it says, it is what it is. So all we're doing is asking you to call in, make your pledges, make your pledges. It's well worth the pennies. It's well four, worth the nickels, the dimes, the quarters. It's well worth it all. Four four five two three eight, eight, nine, nine, eight, eight nine eight nine. That's right. And Joe, you know uh, that's part of it. You know, I've been listening to Brother uh, King S. Nab's work. You know, from the King S. Nab uh, Maxi Single uh, 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 Compact. This. Uh, I mean, there's so much that we have amongst us as talent, and I know that uh, Brother King S. Nab can attest to the fact that you know they're not playing this on mainstream. You know, of I mean, course not. <laughs> Yeah. They're not gonna play. It. They're not gonna play this because it's not. It's it's not what they, you know, and not to knock any other you no know, rapper or whomever doing. Go and knock them. Look at You know. But anyway, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the fact that this this type of information is things that's gonna make you wake up. It's gonna make you start to think, mm-hmm. and that's and that's and that begins the process of you're beginning to make the change, the metamorphosis that you need to change to get to a higher level of vibration where you no longer see, but you can now really see. Right, but the king is there. Yes, sir. No, we can we can knock them right. Sure. Okay. Scared. Well, don't tell me that now, because I, I we ain't scared. In fact, you want me to play? You want me to play the one that he knocked on? Who killed hip hop? You want you want me to play that then? <laughs> might as well. <laughs> might as well give him the old make punch like that. For real. But, but talk about, scary. but but that's them. It's true that they're, they're not playing you on the uh, on mainstream. Yeah, you're not. You know. A mainstream favorite, are you? You're not on the uh, top top uh, twenty, are you? <laughs> no, sir. Are you gonna be at the MTV Awards? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't see myself being near either. Uh, unless yeah. unless we we're gonna go collectively from a galactic standpoint and manage all of the masonic <laughs> reptilians in the uh in the fiction establishment <laughs> you know okay. like you know like black wall street or something <laughs> right shut them down yeah shut them down um we talked about the last time we spoke with uh, king s Nam about you know the fabric of your work and the the way that you can read it, you know, the chemistry of it. Uh, what is it that goes into it? And, and, and when you decide that you're going to even do it, how does, how does it come to you? Does it just flow, um, or do you have to really take time to sit down and prepare the paper and make it happen? Or how does it work for you in terms of your formula without, of course, giving any proprietary information up in your course? <laughs> giving away the trade secrets. The trade secrets, and all right, that. yeah. <laughs> um, as far as whether I'm writing scrolls or, or I'm writing music, it's all um it's all natural and I write at certain times. Um, you know, when uh the galactic activation portals are open. Um I express Okay, now slow down. Now, what is that? What's the galactic activation portal? Let me join we're not having a normal conversation, you know, <laughs> you know, among ourselves. What is a galactic activation <laughs> portal and when is it open? What is that? It's not like the gap. It right? is there. It's a, it's a gap. It's a, it's a gateway in the universe where energy is easily accessible from another dimension or from the 19th galaxy down to the 18th galaxy and our connections to that it's like a um, it's a portal it's a gateway where you can receive information energy or data very similar to a vortex um that will open on august the 13th you know um, 2013 like every 10 years there's a vortex opening and alignment through that leo cycle or that august month as you refer to at you know on the 13th and that's the alignment also the alignment at the top of the capstone on the pyramid it's like august 13th that's why they give you the uh when you talk about the long count calendar is you know the beginnings of in gregorian time is the exact day of august the 13th 3113 bc of course which is just 13 triple zero 
which is going into the next 13 triple zero, which is 2013 um, opening. So it's just 13 across the board, and we're going into that vibration. So that's a Galactic Activation Portal I need. Okay, so, and that's how you create, you create intentionally or does it come to you or you motivated is there a certain energy that happens where you feel strongly pulled or drawn to the energy of a gap or a galactic activation portal or is it that you doing your own divinations and say okay this is the time for me to go ahead and uh, open this yeah, vortex up it's like uh it's just a feeling it's the energy that that comes over me at a certain time like okay it just comes to me transmissions are sit, submitted to me and say okay well you need to do this, or uh, you need to do this scroll, or write this scroll, or write this book, or write this song, and or do this particular album. In fact, you know, I'm in that cycle right now of the uh, of the solar energy, you know, passing through the summer solstice and going into the uh, the rebirth of time um, uh, with the with the day out of time. Like this cycle right now, it it called for me to. To do this new album, you know, this new album which um, I completed in like uh, two strongs. Um, the whole album with um, uh, 16, 16 songs, and the album is based around the 13 tones of the universe. So each song on the album um, is uh, is the vibration or tone of the universe. It's like it starts off with magnetic for those who are not familiar with the Omec cosmology or understanding that there are 13 different tones of the universe according to our cosmology and it starts off with magnetic and goes up to cosmic cosmic is the 13th the first tone of the universe is the magnetic tone of purpose which has to do with purpose and everything happens in a cycle of 13 days 13 days 13 um, uh, away spells oh uh, get into that but the, the the 13th day is the cosmic tone of presence, which means the day that everything shows up. So if you want something to manicure in your existence or in your life, you begin in tune with the 13 tones of the universe in those 13 days way spells. So you start out with the magnetic tone of purpose. So whatever it is that you want to manicure on the planet, you know, you begin it with with a purpose and then... The cosmic tone of presence, and that's the day that you uh, provide whatever you are providing, or is easily accessed. You know, with that energy being present and you being aware of what's going on in the universe. So that's how I write. I live my life based around natural, natural time, natural cycles. Where whether it's the rebirth of nature, or uh, rebirth of time, rebirth of cycles, um, the rebirth of the universe. So you have the rebirth of nature, which is around the time when they refer to it as the uh, uh, March of 21st, when they refer to that as like the opening gateway or the spring break or what they call the equinox, the vernal equinox. Um, and, you know, it's like, okay, what's well, the spring break? And that's the rebirth of nature. And where we are now, we go from that to the summer solstice, which is, it begins on um, June um, the 20th. 22nd and 21st actually June 21st you be hit the summer solstice and then from the summer solstice you get into the rebirth of time mm -hmm. which is natural time so we're going into the realm of the rebirth of time and then from the rebirth of time of course you go into the autumn equinox from the autumn equinox you go into the winter solstice right and and, and, and so forth and so on exactly I, I tell you you can't wind them up because if you don't you know I, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to make sure that uh, people are very encouraged uh, so they can be able to be a part of the uh, global peace through culture uh, day which is happening or three days in this case for the yoga kundalini yoga retreat that's going to include um, Brother King Esnam, also Sister Tassili Ma'at, and also Sister Ligia Bana is going to be doing an open ceremony for uh, the day at a time, which is the forgiveness ceremony, the ceremony where we begin to uh, somewhat uh, take account of ourselves, our mind, uh, do an inventory of our mind. And I think the, uh, who can be more appropriate in terms of our neurologists, neurologists, our meditation Goddess, uh, Sister Legion Minaj, she's going to be uh, a very integral part of that. 
Um, Brother Jerry, brother, uh, uh, there's Sister Sandra as well. You know, so we, we, we can somewhat categorically say that the level of our de de development has to come from us really taking full, uh, full stock of our mind. And uh, we, we've been very evasive and very avoiding. The only thing that really truly has been the main culprit of our dysfunction is our inner me or our enemy, our mind, right? And, and when y'all, you know, do the service of facilitating um, with others, through others, you know, do you really truly calibrate them to understand the importance of taking responsibility for it, what their mind is creating and then utilizing that to go back in our major community for the purposes of not projecting their issues onto others because at this point in this stage of the game we know that there's still impression we know still there's racism we know there's bigotry we know there's discrimination we know there's all kinds of different you know if you want to do fascism you know we can we, we can talk about all the different isms mm -hmm. that still exist as we are reflecting it all for ourselves how do you how do you reconcile that with taking stock of our mind and being able to now think that we are creating our reality or even ascribe, prescribe to the fact, subscribe to the fact that, I don't say prescription, prescription, but you're giving, but subscription, subscribe to uh, the tenets that, you know, we're creating our reality. Oh, boy. Okay. thing is that most people that we deal with when we do our services, we give them the information. And what we find for many of them they hear it they receive it they accept it but don't act on it in other words that their mind's been open to, to realize something they, they begin to see something and because of their what you might want to say fear or their doubt or whatever it is that's holding them back they say yes 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 and this is what you need to do this a b c d and they don't do it i think because to i think what people are not getting is you must do the want work. this Yes. And you must do the work. And on, I don't think it's unfortunate. I think that's just the way it is. It's a very small percentage of people that's carrying the, the everything forward for everyone else. But if we say thought travels faster than the speed of light, at some point you'll pick it up. But or most people don't understand the want, the desire. It has to be a burning. And then you must live this life. It's not a Sunday thing. It's not a part-time thing. It's a constant everyday thing. If you're doing dishes, you need to be checking yourself while the water is running. You're constantly in your head going over talking. But if you don't want it, then it doesn't become that important for you to do it. And Sister Cynthia wanted you to say King's name very slow because she liked the CD. <laughs> Say King's name very slow. <laughs> King, very slow. There you go. I just did it. Yes, oh, she good. wanted the whole. Oh, hold on. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's King Esnab. It's King Esnab. That is E T Z N A B. Shaquan. S H A Q U A N L. As in E L E L, Ray as in R E Y, and uh, brother King S N A V Shaquan L Ray, give your contact information <laughs> very slow. Low <laughs> is H Y P N O T I Q U E O L M E. P U N C H dot O R G and that's hypnotic omegpunch dot org is the website and email address the same as we just uh, <laughs> express K I N G E T Z N A B S H A Q U A N E L R E Y at gmail dot com. 
Okay. And uh, if you want more information, you can call us here. And uh, we got our sister taking calls. But again, we're uh, providing uh, this opportunity for you to support the station, to give back, to make an investment, become a partner, partner with us here at WRFG, become uh, that which is uh, those who can really truly uh, categorically state that they support and are, are proud subscribers is also investors investors in the greatness of our community uh, programming uh, and our content and uh, so four four five two three eight nine eight nine brother and sister uh, are willing to give you an opportunity to be a part of um, their energy vortex by calling in and they'll give you a reading. They'll they even talk about some of the things they may see, get some insights on what they feel, what they hear from you, what they're taking from your energy. And uh, they do it so powerfully prolific that I could, you know, really sit here and even talk about shivering, you know, because obviously they do the work. They, they're they very much, you know, personification of what they state. Uh, they uh, got uh, Brother King Esther pegged. You know, and uh, I mean, so obviously, if you peg him, you pegged it. I wanted to ask him a question. Uh oh, brother. <laughs> yeah, and don't get nervous about it. It's <laughs> someone, um, because it's just been coming, I'm trying to ignore it. Sometimes we do that. Is not really an older person, but someone around you that's probably getting sick or sick um, that you're aware of? Um, not, not, not that I'm aware of at present. Because what I'm seeing is like it, it, it kind of, kind of creeped me out as like something. It seems really black within the, the um the body, the flesh, or something. I don't the, know. The real black. Uh, yeah, like dark black. skin black. <laughs> no, no. Within like whatever the thing is, it's um. Oh, you mean the disease or the? the yes, yeah, that looks very, very dark and funny, and it doesn't have to be a relative. And it's probably just somebody that you know. So, just kind of listen out. Okay. Thank you very You're much welcome. for that. Okay, what else, uh, Brother Jerry? Uh, what you picking up? Uh, something black and white or green or purple? <laughs> or? I don't get any colors from it, Brother No, but um, it's just that um, it just keeps coming back for the brother just to watch his step. That's all. Just, just watch people that you deal with, you know, because it's, uh, it's uh, there's, there's those people out there that really... Is, but do you know anybody named John? Uh-oh. Okay. Naming huh? names. <laughs> Well, you know what my name is, Mr. John. <laughs> okay, so I'm just saying that the name John it keeps popping oh, up. Does the name John? Yeah. Uh, ring a bell? Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's see. Well, I'll have to think about that one. Okay. Um, or it, it, it could be another language. It could be Johanna, or another name that you might not, or you might be familiar with, not be familiar with. But this anyway, this person John <laughs> is going to be the one that's going to um. Uh, come to you with a deal uh -huh. and uh, the advice that I'm getting is don't take it right okay don't take it you're more powerful on your own yes yeah, to shut you down you know you're more powerful okay. on your own so okay. don't let anybody come to to you to make a deal because the deal is not really going to benefit you it's just to hold you and keep you locked into a place where you can't get this information out yeah, I'm sure that probably at the day out of time, somebody named John will uh, show up, <laughs> and I'll be like, Johnny Boy. Step yeah, up. Gonna, yeah. <laughs> hey, Johnny, step yeah, up. Yeah, step up, Johnny. Yeah, yeah, so is, is that what you're picking up also, uh, Sandra? Um, I, what I picked up was the end part of it. It's that it's to shut him down. Mm. It's a control factor. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all right. Yeah. Cool. But again, don't ever be afraid. It has nothing to do with that. It's just that... You it's know, it's an people are going to try. It's, 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 it's just, yeah. to, just to keep your... Because we, we all have what we call unguarded moments. Mm -hmm. You know, and people are going to look for that. So you always make sure that you keep yourself alert. Right. You know, keep yourself alert. 404-523-8989. Call now and uh, support Community Radio. You hear the, you know, the, 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 the precision, the accuracy of our guests. They can tell you what they, you need to know and give you some heads up about John. <laughs> and, and we, Sue or Mary or Pete or Peter, Peter, you know, Johnny, Daddy, anybody. Any of them characters that come up, you know, with those fiction names. <laughs> Shut them down. Yeah, that's it. Get them out. Get them out your enemy. Get, get them out your space quick. Oh. You don't. You don't need that, man. You don't right, need that. Right. Well, we you know. Hey, if, if if we don't know by now, and I'm saying to you, it's always good to have those. And that's what you know. Truly, brother Esnab, as we talk about this, and we make fun, make you know, light of it. Sometimes even be facetious about facetious about it. Facetious, right? About it. 
we are well aware that most of what our work was when we were in our antiquity of greatness or dealing with our uh, empires, that we had those people such as J uh, Jerry and um, Sandra who were those seers, who were up close, who really truly gu guided us and let us know how to move, you know, mm -hmm. you know, especially those who were in positions of, 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 of royalty and, 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 and power. And, and power. And, right. They had they had those to say, okay, don't go that way, go this way, don't do this, don't sign that bill, don't, you know, you know, don't make that agreement, don't make that deal, you All know, right. and, and that's, that's nothing, nothing new. That's part of, you know, the signs of the divination, the high priest and those it's people. It's our way. Know, right, right. It's yeah. our way. Yeah, that's the the hierarchy and and the protection. You know, we, you know, it's always good to have that. You know, even though you know we have the the higher realms of protection, however, we need to um, listen more. You know, to that which is around us and those who, who are really here for our best interest. So it's always good to have that. You know, we remain Teflon and transparent and keep it moving. You know, so. You know about that, Bible one need. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Four, four, five, two, three, eight, nine, nine, eight, nine. nine. That's our listener sponsor number to call in to support map time. Take okay, another quick reset. Coming back, um, we're going to talk a little bit more about our brother King S. Nav. He's got preparing us, you know, for uh, the day out of a time um, retreat happening coming on this uh, strong as on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the twenty third. 24th and 25th of going in July, and uh, he's going to be one of the presenters as well as Sister Mama uh, Tassili Maat and uh, Atma Maat, and also uh, Sister Ligia Manar is going to be in place. Brother Michael Johnson is going to be there, I think, also doing some musical, um, what he, he calls <laughs> Funky Meditation. And uh, well, he does a powerful piece, you know, with his meditational pieces as well. Uh, he is the uh, the maid of uh, Sister Julie Dexter, who's also expected to make, make an appearance uh, during this event. And so, so that's, that's what it is. Four, four, five, two, three, eight, nine, eight, nine. Uh, Brother King X, I'm going to we'll be back, brother, uh, with more of you and more of what we do here on Listen to Sponsored Community Radio. And the question always is uh, 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 understanding the power of the Mac. <laughs> I know what that is. The man. Mac on him. <laughs> yes, sir. Greetings, S. Now we wanna hear the Hall of Merit, please. All right, S. Now I'm about to give you the book. I judge math this complete sentences devoted for the masses that are asses and still can need classes. And when they get classes, then everybody passes. It's magic the way your thoughts get clearer from the Institute of the Hall of Mirror Shahiria. A snap epilogue until 2013. I'll be guided by the dawn light rule. Sharp as a rattlesnake, too. The map man is back like cowboy boots with the truth. And this ward from the truth. Larry, I drop heavy and never scary with the legendary. A. I I don't play, you don't say my name ever. I know better ways to get more cheddar. It's low key through foundations and trustees. Bank treaties, substitutions of trustees. Y'all need classes or sustainable. Ability industries can't find a real of me from habitation assets to building nations ethanol, chlorine, and alcohol. Simp brain, I only deal with real things diodes, magnets, and I drink gold. My soul is so old, you must know my DNA implode and explode. The black hole is the black woman, black hole, the gateway and the seat of my soul. Sino atrio from the north node to the heart. Of the woman through the nostril I creep life through mics, that's right In my tool ball can y'all call it the pipe The return of the map to the masses That means the masses are asses Till you give them classes First two, back up, cause I'm not through It's the Bible and Egyptian book part two Still coming soon to a store near you And the curse of the dark is encryption the code Y'all don't even know how my brain cells hold So much information to get you information Man, I got a nation of old mech knowledge That you can't get at any other college I'm solid, that's right, as a rock Like a Chevrolet truck I don't know how to stop Somebody call the cops Cause if not, it gets killing them And even if I touch them, I'm still not feeling them Yes, now we want to hear the 
So sustainability industries can't find a real of me from habitation access to building nations ethanol chlorine and alcohol simp brain i only deal with real things diodes magnets and i drink gold my soul is so old you must know my dna implode and explode the black hole is the black woman black hole the gateway and the seat of my soul Sino atrio from the north node To the heart of the woman through the nostril I creep life through mics, that's right In my tool ball can y'all call it the pipe The return of the map to the masses That means the masses are asses Till you give them classes First two, back up, cause I'm not through It's the Bible and Egyptian book part two Still coming soon to a store near you And the curse of the dark is in in the cold, y'all don't even know how my brain cells hold so much information to get you information. Man, I got a nation of old mech knowledge that you can't get at any other college. I'm solid, that's right, as a rock, like a Chevrolet truck. I don't know how to stop somebody call the cops, cause hypnotic is killing them. And even if I touch them, I'm still not feeling them. The Mac, Ed Snap, all the mirrors getting class. Press if you love hip hop, fellas, grab ya if you're ready to rock now. Hey, hey, y'all know what it is. Uh, King S. Nap in the building, evacuate the elders and children. Yes, cause it's about to get ugly. Ha. But y'all gon' love Jay-Z Went from jazz to claiming Jehovah The God named Hova The hip-hop Dakota of young Hova And nasty Nas Remember Tupac was against all odds Of those in the large with Columinati Which translates as kill Illuminati Now y'all can't possibly think it's coincidence That Tupac had a record of events That all took place Plus an unsolved case Of when he got shot right in front of y'all Face. What really took place is yet to be told And many of the secrets are metaphysical However many things must first be exposed About the rap game, let the truth be told Most of your favorite rappers have sold their souls The secret societies and y'all don't know Of the satanic rituals and masonic codes Like Rockefeller and the Rockaway logo Inverted Capricorn, Greek symbol of the gold Inverted Patty and December, call it Virgo Yep, just like Nas at the Rockefeller symbol before Jay Z in 1994. Visit the A Hard to tell video. Man, who killed hip hop is all I wanna know. This is hip hop decoded, the South reloaded. And if y'all listen, you just might notice that hip hop man was a Satan ritual. Controlled by the media against individuals. Life is still late, none of y'all real. How many white people have y'all killed? That's right, none. But y'all got guns, hip hop is dead and the prodigal 
Ghost. Son. The pyramid on the dollar with the eye in the middle is our symbol, but it's not that simple. The Masonic temples use this symbol and individuals to do these rituals like Jay Z. Y'all think I'm crazy, but y'all go back to his first CD. Reasonable doubt, that's right, Kaluminati. Rule his mind, his soul, and his body. Uh, dear God, I wonder, can you save me? Secret societies trying to keep their eye on me. Hook quoted, hip hop decoded. Just like Ford, man, y'all better focus. Cause nevertheless, man, they do it to the best. Nas, Jigger, and Kanye West. Trapped in the energy of Baphomet The old French term permutation of Muhammad The old cold ritual is not Islamic And y'all don't get what I'm saying just yet Each album release date is already set For the humanoid gold You bet Baphomet with two fake breasts And a torch on his head December the 22nd Hip hop is dead The same exact day of Baphomet's birthday Man who killed hip hop is all I gotta say Since hip hop the cold the South Reloaded And if y'all listen, you just might notice That hip hop man was the same Ten ritual Strolled by the media against individuals Like Miss Hill, ain't none of y'all real How many white people have y'all killed? That's right, none What y'all got done Hip hop is dead and the prodigal son Now they looking for the prodigal son Called the ghost The return of Machiavelli Tupac the most Now y'all look at the seven day theory, September the 7th. Pop got shot and died Friday the 13th of September. What does that mean? A day before Nas' birthday, the rapper from Queens who we had beef with. How strange does it seem? At 403, that's the seven day theory. And he was 25, that's seven if you hear me. Seven outlaws who killed Biggie Smalls. And who y'all think killed hip hop? Y'all could it be P. Diddy who was riding with Biggie in a Nazi truck called an SUV Cause he was around here yeah, when Pop got shot And he was around here yeah, when Biggie got shot And he was around when Shine got knocked And he was around cause he part of the plot Who is this guy? A Sigma Pi Phi In other words, a government spy All these rappers ever do is lie How could we let hip hop die? Rappers are not speaking English with signs and symbols like the planet called Venus and work for the devil that worship the penis. This is not a joke, you can tell that I mean this. Even Beyonce with Jigga just doesn't help, cause now she's wearing a skull and bones belt in her ring, the alarm video. What else? And now he with Nas, and I thought that was great until I seen them do a Masonic handshake. I'ma set it straight, I don't care if y'all hate. Either you real, got Damn it, or you fake, and this is the state that hip hop is in. Jay Z and Nas, black Republicans, faithful to the death on the shield of the Masons. The Rockefeller Crest is the shield of Satan. This is why they are not Democrats. Kanye said, Bush don't care about blacks. He's a Republican, y'all, we are suffering Can we get back to the real, we need love again Soul and compassion, all I am asking How could we let Anglo-Saxons take our arts? We supposed to be smart And now hip-hop is swimming with the sharks Man, hip-hop is swimming with them sharks This is hip-hop decoded, the South reloaded And if y'all listen, you just might notice That hip-hop now was a same and ritual Strolled by the media Against individuals Like this hill Ain't none of y'all real How many white people Have y'all killed That's right none What y'all got guns Hip hop is dead And the prodigal son Who killed him hit-
listening to sponsored and supported Community Radio 89.3 FM, WRFG Atlanta. And we are pleased as we wind down and continue to let you know that you still <laughs> have the opportunity to support us through your monetary contributions. And uh, that is to call us 404 uh, our sister and our brother who was in studio who was offering us an opportunity to uh, get their uh, gifts and talents uh, displayed by your calling to place to the station brother Jerry and his wife Sandra uh, they are here uh, as the wrecking crew they, <laughs> they <laughs> what, what do you say Sandra say it again our names keep changing. Yeah, they keep changing. Oh, titles. <laughs> yeah, titles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're morphing. I'm telling you, I'm morphing as we speak right before our very ears. Uh, but there's also a, a sense that um, you're so versatile and diverse in your uh, gift uh, to look into something and see the future of something. You know, look into the, someone and see what they're representing and how they're doing. So well, as we have our brother King Ashnab still online with us, who personifies, you know, a lot of accomplishments, you know, in this lifetime. And I think our sister Sandra was uh, alluding to that um, by virtue of the fact that she realized that there was a return by her, uh, the, uh, our brother, who has now to deal with all the things that he has come to do in this lifetime and uh, to accomplish uh, it in that there's not going to be any stock dramatic uh, activity or, or excitement that's going to be around his presence. Because obviously she said there's a divine presence of protection. I think also Brother Jerry said that. Um, but but this you know but there's also this sense you know that we got to be able to be more clear about our commitment to responsible responsible choices, choices right? So what what would you say, uh, Mama Sandra? How do we? focus on that in the face of all the things that we now know that we have before us, like the bio survival, where I'm going to eat, I have a place to stay, mm-hmm. you know, uh, uh, things to wear, you know, how do we deal with the bio survival that's constantly challenging us, uh, the levels of uh, what we're going to do to sustain ourselves, particularly when we talk about a system, a monetary system called capitalism. I think I can, I can speak for myself on this level that you slowly begin to remove yourself from a lot of those things that are controlling that you know deals with the aspect of money you know the basic things has to be paid and you get to a place where you begin you know as i would say to live magically so things do does happen and things will come into your world and i think the whole concept of people looking for the the million dollars and all of that manifest the tiny things first before you can jump to the big one. But I think the more you remove yourself from what you everybody would say, the matrix, then a lot of stuff is not that important anymore. Uh, no longer relevant, right? No, uh, it um, really doesn't matter. Uh, okay. I mean, we, we all have our necessities of life. We, we know that. But as we grow, we realize that, um, as the saying goes, you can't take it with you anyway. Hmm. You know, so you won't take it with you. Not, not today. Like uh, the, the prime example is King Tut. <coughs> they found his tomb when everything was in there, but him. <laughs> you know, so it's not a thing where it's going anywhere. So why, like, um, why get caught up in these things to the point where they begin to control your life rather than you control them? Mm-hmm. You know, you don't allow it to control you. You control it. Right. And and that's all part of your growth. And as you get older and as you begin to see things, you realize that that's not the way that you want to go anyway. Of course, like we said before, you have to take care of certain things. There certain necessities. third dimensional things. You know, we're, here, we're here living so different. You've got to pay your mortgage. You've got to pay, you know, some things you got to do. So that's understood, but it's provided for. Those things are always going to be taken care of. If you're doing what you're supposed to do, you're never going to be without. You're never going to, you're never going to be one How of those do you people. Get, well, go ahead. Excuse me, I'm trying to say something in the midst of a yawn. Mm. But that time. <laughs> no, but you know, we usually I always say, you know, go ahead and yawn and we'll be here when you get back. So I'm not mm-hmm. rush to say something. But how do we how do we um know if that is what we are uh doing? If we're here to do what we say you say, do what we're supposed to do, as you say, do what we're supposed to do. 
how 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 do we gauge that? How do we know if we are doing what we're supposed to do, and does that reflect in how we are able to take care of our bills or take care of our, those responsibilities that we have? You know, I mean, does the, are they in, are they integral? Is is it? Which one? Which one uh, uh, supposes the other? I mean, how does it make it? You know, how do you verify that you're actually doing what you're supposed to do? Well, again, it goes back to a knowing. It's it's something that if you're doing what you know you're supposed to do, then things fall into place accordingly. It's like a like any type of a game plan. If you're if you're playing on a football team, right, and you have a game, you have a playbook. If you follow the playbook it's according to what your position is, and you do what you're supposed to do, things will fall into place. It's, you just know it. If, if you go out and go down three or drop 20 yards, cut to the left, and come back two more yards, you will get a ball in your hand. That's automatic by way of that playbook. And same thing in this world. If you're geared towards going into the spiritual realm, all those things will be shown to you, and you will know what to do because it's, it just falls into place. And you cannot do anything else it's just nothing else that you can do what do you mean by that meaning whatever you're doing within your 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 life's purpose say in our case i can sincerely say if someone said to me today i'll give you 10 million dollars if you no longer do this i know where i stand that i can say keep your 10 million dollars well can you take it and just give it to me <laughs> I could if they would give it to me. <laughs> but I'm just saying that it's, you're at a place where you just know, this is what I'm supposed to do, and there's just nothing else but this. There, there are examples of those who have had what you would call wealth and have chosen to give it up to pursue the uh, what you might call the spiritual life, for lack of better words. And they realize that it's not all about the money. And we're not saying we don't need money. We're just oh, yeah, saying we we're putting now. it in perspective you know and, and another thing for people to understand is like even for those people that pray oh please you know pay my rent or help me with this or that you have to come into understanding that the more you begin to raise your vibration the brighter your light gets so it's kind of like everybody's in a pack and the ones that the lights are shining brighter is the ones that the, that's picked out because if that's the case, everyone that goes to church and pray all the time should have every Christians and churchgoers and all those people should be some of the most happiest, wealthiest people that there is. So there has to be some other criteria. But pastor is. Yeah, that deter. Oh yeah, he is. It's Rip like <laughs> criteria that determines why and how you get things oh, okay. and how it works. So, Brother Esnab, uh, would you agree with some of those assessments in terms of what we talk about as it relates to fiat or the, the, the monetary system that is currently being used uh, under the currency uh, laws that they have? What, what, do, what do you what say you about that? Now, you talked earlier about the um, worth that we had and the value that we had was the energy of the minerals and the, you know, the diamonds and the gold. Uh, what say you about the uh, advent of... Uh, fiat and, and how is it that we are to somewhat put it in perspective in terms of how we relate to fiat <laughs> okay uh, as far as the fiat goes of course it's, it has a time limit on it anyway um, it's not going to be something that we will uh, be able to be codependent upon uh, for much longer uh, we will have to move into another uh, space or paradigm of you know, original things, we will have to move back to asset-based things, uh, currency and resources, uh, different ways of um, generating our own economics, um, as we did before, you know, various types of trade, various types of bartering uh, structures. We will have to move into that dimensional shift and combine our efforts and, you know, have our own our own infrastructures in place, you know, that's the thing about the rebirth of kingdoms and empires, you know, it's, it's a must, you know, that this, this, uh, this fiat, this fiction system of this, you know, running the paid bills and all of that, mortgage and all that stuff is, that's the illusion part. However, you know, we're dealing with that at the moment. Well, you know, of course, I'm not, but a lot of our people are, dealing with, you know, paying bills and, you know, from moment to moment struggling with this fiction establishment. And what we have to do, we have to shift 
you know, spiritually and mentally and economically because we have to get back to the point to where we have the black infrastructure or the black banks or financial institutions um, that support us because right now we're just too codependent as a people upon, you know, the Tamahu institutions and their money and their stuff. And we have to move into that space of having our own. That's part of the dimensional shift as well getting out of the state of codependency upon that which they have um, put before us and pretty much took us away from our infrastructures and systems because the capitalistic system itself um, was, you know, it has a purpose. It, you know, it's the illusion infrastructure and it has turned many of our people into capitalists and which is why they have stated, you know, the... Uh, the uh, cliche that they use, the money is being the root of all evil, and which is why they created the capitalistic system anyway, for people to chase the almighty dollar and do evil things to get access to it, which, you know, it's time for that to come to an end, because we're going back into the cooperative economic infrastructures and systems. That's part of the dimensional shift. So getting into that is going to be vital for us to sustain ourselves and be interdependent, not really codependent upon the fiction establishment. And it has happened several times, like when you look at the course of history, uh, or our story, or his story, or her story, you'll see that it's certain people that were the ones that survived all of the collapses and economic crises that um, ever occurred. And, you know, of course, people are speaking about that because, of course, it's happening, you know, as we speak. It has to happen this way. However, the ones who were on a different system, a different structure, they were always the ones to survive any of those times of um, of the crisis. So that's yeah, you know, and that, my so, of it. Yeah, and that's also learning about more about the system and understanding how the system works uh, in terms of keeping or manipulating people to believe that they are to be striving toward the illusion or the imaginary American dream and to think about, you know, not realizing what their energy is creating and think that they have to work in order to uh, obtain these, uh, the level of um, income that they're receiving and that kind of thing. Because, you know, you get some reality checks, you know, often, you know, within that system, you know, of, of us being so unreliable, you know, and, and that um, not consistent if you don't really truly, I think, I think Mama Sandra was saying that, you know, you know, when you have those challenges where, you know, you're not really doing what you love and you're not on purpose, as Brother Jerry alluded to, you know, said it straight up and plain, you know, that, you know, you have the challenge, you know, of not being able to sustain yourself, you know, because you're working in an anti-gravity force field, you know, you know, you're putting yourself, you know, you're working uh, just suppose against yourself, you know, and then you don't realize that when things are required and you need things, you have the resources that are taking care of you beyond the illusion of the the the, 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 the money, or you're having it when you need it. But as we talk about money, yet we talk about money for the station, and we do require it for the station. So that's we will, needed. That's <laughs> needed, and that's a clear indication that you know that you can call here and uh, that ten million dollars that Mama Sandra is gonna get because they're gonna try to get it to sell out from her purpose. She's gonna go ahead and sign it over to WRFG so we can go ahead and maintain and sustain what we have here. I'll so keep she, a couple of dollars. There you go. You get, you get a couple for yourself, you know. And uh, but that's part of what we're talking about. We're talking about rebuilding the revenue and bringing the revenue into the station, right? So four four five two three eight nine eight nine. We have my people who are just getting up, showing up, getting ready to go for to their to their to their jobs. <laughs> you know, where's your support for the station? We are not summer marathon. We have began it. We have begun it. <laughs> All right. And we want you to be able to call us up and give us your support because we do most definitely, definitely require it. Our station is in need of your support financially to keep us uh, independent and keep us flowing and keep us operationally sound. So four four five two three eight nine eight nine. And you can also, as you're getting ready to go to your your, your mundane job or your job, I mean your Monday job, I, I mean, you know, you can um, call us here and Brother Jerry and Sister Sandra will give you a, a reading. A $35 reading would be nice, you know, to have a $35 and you give us $89.30. You can go to their place of uh, residence and have a one on one, and they can give you an extensive person meeting. to person. And Sa Mama Sandra uh, 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 made an executive decision. <laughs> you know? Executive <laughs> And said that, you know, at the $120 level, she can also throw in a dream catcher and a pendulum. 
that she herself hand makes. Come on now. So, and this is part of your, and this is not, none of the proceeds go to them. They are saying no. it's coming to WRFG because they are so much, you know, appreciative of WRFG and what it offers. They're willing to, 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 to parlay, parlay their work energy to the station so they can continue to really say that they really appreciate what we do here. Four four five two three eight nine eight nine. You know, what's interesting about that is that to talk about it, and what we do, we understand how money works in this sense. Is that because of the fact that we're doing this? We know that it's going to come back to us in so many other ways. Mm-hmm. It's not something that we're, like I said, we're here at WRFG. We're, we're trying to get people to call, to pledge, to support the station. And that's all well and good. Like I said, we're not getting paid for this. It's not coming to us. But it's going to come back to us, as we know, in so many other ways. So we, 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 we can do this. And I sit back and say, well, we ain't going to get paid no money. You know how y'all do. They ain't going to pay us. They're going to pay us no attention. You know. <laughs> so, But, but we, we understand how it goes. So... Please call in. As a matter of fact, my, my alarm just went off. My 5 o'clock alarm just went off. That's the time I used to get up mm. I, I, to go meditate. Wow. And I, I'm saying my, what's this buzzing on my side? I said, oh, that's, my, that's my phone. You, Let, you will be in another ether right now. Yeah, right. right. I was, coming back into your body to, to meditate yeah. in the physical body. Look that's at that. It. Get well, I mean, oh, oh, that's on. all right. But, but this I is, appreciate this, that. We appreciate this. This is all good, too. This is all good. Like, we, it's funny how every time we come here, we've only been here twice, but... It seems like we say we'll go there and we're going to be there. We say amongst ourselves, we're going to be there about an hour, right? Yeah, about an hour. We're going to go home. <laughs> and it so happens that once we get in here, it's no more time. We sit there and say, yeah. okay, we in it for the long haul. Let's make it work. I appreciate that. Let's the make illusion it work. of uh, coming into the mar- maritime uh, vortex uh, uh, that you can walk out. As easily as you walked in, yeah. <laughs> because but, on Friday nights for the meditation, it begins. Yeah, talk about that. What, what kind of meditation do you guys have? Is it a circle, a meditation circle? What do you do? I mean, what is the meditation? Is there any particular uh, uh, type of meditation you're doing? What is it? It's so. Well, I mean, you can jump in, Jerry, when mm-hmm. you're ready. It's a most of the time it's a guided meditation because a lot of people are saying they're having problems concentrating, and people take meditation. It's important, but it's not this thing that instantly you must get into the zone it takes practice your mind's gonna wander you're gonna think about the supermarket and all of those things so it's a lot of great guided meditation that takes you through some can do a take you into a past life regression or the akashic records it's a multitude of things and after the meditation and people um share what their experiences were during the meditation if any then we have channel in and generally we'll usually you know whoever decides to come through mm-hmm. come through and you can ask them questions or they might have messages for the people in the room right. and question and answers and usually goes on until about two o'clock in the yeah, morning I mean, we start out <laughs> about eight and we usually people don't leave our house about two or three o'clock wow, in the morning yeah. every you friday know, night every friday night and oh it's every friday yeah, every, once a month. Every friday no every, yeah well once a week is friday yeah once a week yeah i mean once a, I do it once a month no, uh-uh. no but every friday every friday night oh, we do powerful. this and the thing is like we we tell people we say, so wait a minute so i'm um, and, and just forgive me sure I, I mean for the sake of clarity and radio you know i want to make sure we're clear so the radio meditation that you do again is a guided meditation as um sometimes right yes mm-hmm. And yet you allow it to become just an open energy. Right. So that kind of like an open forum, so forum, to speak. So people can be okay. Right. So it's not like, like we tell people, we, we point this out all the time, that when you go to other places and they say meditation, you're there from a certain time. And once that time is up, they tell you to get out. Like if from 7.30 to 9.30 at 9.30, right. 9.35, you're out the door. We say, look, you're coming to our home. Right, we're not going to kick you out after meditation is over. We even will serve them drinks and some snacks because we're going to be there for a minute. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that you're comfortable. And from that point moving forward, every and anything that could possibly happen will happen. And like we say, people sit there until two or three o'clock in the morning, and they all they say, "We don't want to go home. (laughs) We don't want to stay here." One lady asked because she spent the night. (laughs) You know, a couple times we said, "Look, sweetie, it's not (laughs) not about that. You got to go home, but you got to get out of here." Yeah, right. Okay, where you go, but you got to get out of here. (laughs) And we'll we'll give little sample (laughs) things like we'll. If you tell someone, um, a person was passed on birth date Mm -hmm. and the day they have passed in their name, that's equivalent to their telephone number on the other side. Okay. So we'll do that and have the 
the people that are participating channel and you'll be amazed how accurate most people are. We have done remote viewing. Psychometry. What is remote Sustains. viewing? Talk more about that. Uh, what is that? What is that practice? Okay. What is remote viewing? Remote viewing is, is, is a term that, that was used by the military. Going back again, we spoke earlier with the CIA, mm -hmm. where they found out that you can telepathically, for lack of better words, can, can sit in a room and they say, okay, we want to, to pick out a place that this person is at, to tune in where this person is. And what they will do, they will either draw or write what they mentally see. And in doing so, they will see how accurate it is. Like you say, well, I see the person on a high cliff near some water, and there may be a bridge in the background. And they may happen to be by the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco on top of a thing overlooking the water and the bay, whatever. And that indicates that you actually went there, saw this here place, and found these people. And it was done for spy purposes. Oh, okay. So, but like when we teach it for people, we say, look, if you're going out of town and you want to go back to where you live and take a look at the house while you're gone, you can do that. Take a look and have to make sure everything is okay, and so you can have a peaceful vacation without having necessarily to go there right, exactly. specifically and directly, yeah. right? Okay. Precisely, oh, physically, right? right exactly. Is that movie "Men Who Stare at Goats"? Men who, who stare at goats. That's the name of it. Yeah, that's it, what that was about. It was, got, it was based upon that. First, premise. first I'm hearing that. What's that about? It's, I With didn't see the George movie. George Clooney. They're showing you how the army or one of those branches took a. You know, it's an ongoing thing where they would train these people to remote view. So they would look into other people's, you know, business, to, to enemy, places, enemies. your enemy, yeah. whatever. And this was something that went on till a lot of them were very highly psychic. Because once you train the mind, you don't ah, have to okay. be spiritual to be psychic. Oh, ah, okay. It's two different things. Right. It's a, you know, it's, it's a birthright that you have to be able to do that. So if you develop it, then... You know, it comes. Well, four four five two three eight nine eight nine. Yeah. Um, uh, that's the call yeah. number to call in and pledge your support to come to Map Time to WFG Radio. We need your support in our fund drive, attempting to raise funds. Four four five two three eight nine eight nine. But uh, King S, now what say you about that? Uh, uh, the remote viewing and the wisdom of that. And also, maybe you can give us some, uh, you know, uh, maybe even some closing remarks about what to expect uh, on this strong uh, in your presentation. Oh, the presentation of the Kundalini Yoga Retreat uh, alongside the Omic Mayan Day at a Time. Okay. Uh, remote viewing. Uh, they've covered pretty much uh, in reference to the term uh, what it meant uh, by the CIA and the military and how they used to... Uh, uh, capture a lot of the criminals. They have uh, certain uh, certain readers, uh, certain people with certain psychic abilities uh, from a variety of uh, different strands on the planet. Um, I don't really want to get into that part of it, but uh, certain people with certain psychic abilities that could read uh, very high um, uh, from one location to another. And they would use those mediums to come in and um, um, be able to pinpoint uh, to solve um, crimes um, in different different parts of the world uh, to pinpoint the location where uh, the whereabouts of an individual is. As far as the day out of time, um, you know, we just gonna we just gonna drop the you know the high resonance and the uh, uh, the purpose of uh, galactic signatures. Uh, what that actually means, what it is, uh, why you should know um, who you are in, in terms of the universe and what your, your purpose is and why you exist and uh, where you're actually going in, in terms of the cycle of time and, you know, whatever else needs to be covered, you know, all the things that uh, you um, made mention of earlier about, uh, about the cosmos and... Uh, some of the, the things that they, the, uh, the other people, um, Mr. Jerry and Ms. Uh, Sandra are speaking about, you know, uh, different um, sensory perceptions and um, other abilities and how we were able to uh, map out this time, how we were able to lay down this so magically and be so accurate with the precision of, of what we are utilizing, this cosmology, because it was done by a lot of those um, higher higher senses, um, you know, for us to be able to map all of this out, you know, 3,113 
BC, you know, <laughs> you know, we laid all of these things out for this particular now um, by those uh, mediums that they are, are speaking speaking of at present. So that's that's pretty much it, Baba. So, uh, is there uh, any contact information that you have that we can share? Again, oh, well, it's um H Y P N O T I Q U E O L M E C P U N C H dot O R G. It's hypnotic punch dot org, and the email is K I N G. E T Z N A B S H A Q U A N E L R E Y at Gmail dot com. Well, we give thanks for you, brother. Thank you for your energy, your uh, contribution, participation, and also for bringing um, the wisdom that you uh, uh, do bring. And our uh, sister Sandra and brother Jerry want to also give you the greetings before you leave. And uh, peace and love, my brother. <laughs> give thanks. <laughs> Thank you, and Thank watch you. your alignment. Yes, people that yes. you're aligning with. Yes, stay, stay focused. Stay all people. truths are not true. Are that all? Tr- oh, 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 say it again. All oh, what? All. T- well, let me spit this. All truths that appears to be true <laughs> are not true. Exactly. There you go. Well, watch out, John. That's it. <laughs> Tell John to get the stepping. <laughs> yeah, appreciate you, brother. Let me talk soon. Who tap? Who tap? Yeah. Okay, um, and uh, as we wait with our brothers and sisters here, what is uh, your contact information that you can offer us, uh, uh, brother um, and sister? Yeah, 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 okay, um, 770-296-9024. Mm-hmm. And if you text us your um, email, we will send you the information out on Wednesdays. And we also text on Wednesdays. Give that number one more time. 770-296-9048. And that's how we will remind you by texting or emailing about the or meditation and any event that we have coming up. Next mm-hmm. weekend, we're having a retreat in the Blue Ridge Mountains. But oh, really? the spaces are closed for that. What Gregorian date? It's on the 23rd. 24th, 25th. Oh, this weekend coming? Yes, uh-huh. coming, yeah. Okay, you all say everybody's doing this stuff yeah. this week. This yeah. is going to be a powerful, powerful weekend. You yeah. said that, the, what, what's already, you said, what did you say before that? About the, um, you mentioned that it's closed or something already? Yeah, we don't have any more space, but we should be doing another one um, shortly. Well, it's like that. Uh, and yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, and it's because what happened was on Jerry's birthday, which we're, is when? Which well, is June, June 27. I was call 60 them. years old then. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to call them We, the beans that came through, because we're usually having fun and asking them their names, and they're like, What is it with you people that you have to have um, some form of a title? You know, they're a collective, and they speak in, in, the, in the sense of We, mm-hmm. and they're connected to us um, by spirit. And they realize that the planet needs help, so they're, you know, here for assistance. So this was something that they told us to do, and it involves, I'm not going to say an initiation, because I don't really particularly care for that word, but more some some type of an attunement where we're going to be erecting a copper pyramid, and there will be an attunement inside the pyramid in the mountains. Beautiful. Well, okay. Well, we got to keep you and uh, keep y'all close and let y'all uh, keep us up to date on those things, yes. um, so we can know exactly how people can be involved and be engaged yeah. in, the, in the in the important work that you're doing, uh, the very much you know impactful work that you're doing. Four four five two three eight nine eight nine. You can make Jerry and Sandra real happy if you pledge to the station before they leave and they oh, can yes, see exactly. So let's give us a call. In fact, that. Uh, They'll even give you, as you're on your way, as he's getting yourself ready to go out for your day, if you are preparing yourself, those of you who are just getting up, you get a chance to have yourself, you know, uh, get some insight because they are psychic readers. They also uh, do what they call the channeling. And uh, what is, how do you channel? What do you channel? You channel um, ancestors or, again, maybe the... Any Elvis, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> in, the, in the mall, you don't see uh, Tupac or somebody in the mall? <laughs> no. No, what it is is that the way the channeling is done is we we uh, we tap into 
the the higher realms. And what happens is that certain entities, for lack of better words, by way of certain ancestors or higher beings or even those who have passed on to the uh, next life come through with messages for people to tell you things, to show you things, and to um, give you insight the way that that happens. Well, they actually come through Jerry's body. Is that right? So, yeah, so Jerry's playing it lightly. <laughs> and um, his voice will change. Mannerism change depending on who's the person that's talking. So after meditation, if you're sitting in the group, oh. most people who've been coming for a while, they know instantly when someone comes in. Oh boy! Because you'll see the difference. Oh depending boy. on oh, how powerful TV. they are, <laughs> you will, you know. Yeah, I can see. I can, the energy yeah. changes. Head start turning around. Hey, there you go. Look out! Look out! You better pledge now because if, if it starts happening, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you may be too late. Four four five two three eight nine eight nine. Give us a call here, brother Jerry, sister Sandra. Thank you so much for your love, for you're helping, welcome. supporting us, and doing Please, this. Please, people call in. And call you're in always welcome place. to come back. You know that. You know that's. Oh you know, yeah, it's, it's a given. You know that you are part of the family here at WRFG, and your selflessness uh, in your work is um, very much you know commendable and we appreciate that thank appreciate you, you. Well, and, and we'd love to come back and, and, anytime and, and, and mama didn't give me any 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 indication any reasons about myself i, I, I gotta ask all of mike so maybe maybe she'll tell me <laughs> maybe maybe she might tell you something that you <laughs> hey. i need to know i need to know i don't hey, bring it on sometimes my brain get lazy well people maybe. think that every time you're around them this is what people think about us yeah, when they, they come they, to the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're reading. And yeah. half the time, you don't even want to tune in like that. No <laughs> they ain't paying no attention. <laughs> right. They ain't thinking about them. People look at you and say, what? What? What's going on? Looking at me. What's going on? <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> what are you talking about? Just, <laughs> yeah. How you doing? What do you want right. me to do? <laughs> I love it. You know, All right. Well, well, thank you all so much. Thank, thank you. And like, hopefully we can do this here again sometime oh, soon. Oh, yeah, we will. We will. No, hopefully everybody. We don't hope we soap. Okay, there we go. Signs of personal excellence. You will be back. Oh, very good. All right. Love and peace to both of you. Peace and love to you. And all listeners, please. Please remember to call in and make your pledges because we need you here at WRFG. 444 You got it now. Best ever did it. Got away with it. All right. <laughs> All right. Y'all who tap? Okay. Somebody texted already. Our son had to go to school. All right. You better go ahead and go on. Okay.